we looked at the healthcare records of a total of about 16,000 men uh, between uh, the SEER Medicare database, which is a, um, a, a record of uh, men treated in the United States uh, who are followed at uh, cancer centers and receive their treatment there, and who are also Medicare age. So they met, we use uh, healthcare claims uh, information from Medicare. And we also used a uh, large uh, healthcare utilization database from a region in Italy uh, with some collaborators. And between those two databases, we had 16,000 men who had uh, a radical prostatectomy for prostate cancer. And we looked specifically at the men for whom uh, post-operative radiation therapy could be considered uh, based on their prostate cancer risk factors. And what we were very interested in was looking at the influence of radiation timing on their risks of side effects. And we found two things. First, uh, adding radiation therapy after prostatectomy does, as we suspected, uh, increase the rates of complications of the uh, gastrointestinal system, like the rectum, for example, uh, and the bladder as well. Uh, what we didn't observe is any increased risk of uh, procedures to uh, help with erectile dysfunction, uh, suggesting that radiation doesn't have a major effect on that. Uh, and then the second major finding was that um, we observed that there was no influence of radiation timing uh, on uh, radiation-related complications. And what that means is that earlier radiation therapy uh, does not increase the risk of uh, gastrointestinal or bladder side effects uh, uh, compared to late, delayed radiation therapy. And this goes against the uh, traditional teaching, as I was trained when I was a was a resident learning about uh, how to take care of prostate cancer patients, that earlier radiation therapy can be harmful for patients because it reduces the time that they have to recover from the effects of surgery. So I think for a patient who um, is, has uh, prostate cancer and who uh, has been recommended to receive radiation therapy based on either a rising PSA blood test or based on concerning findings on their pathology report from their surgery, I think the main message from these findings is that um, going ahead and moving forward with radiation therapy um, based on careful con consultation with your treating physicians uh, is, is a wise choice and doesn't increase your risk of long-term side effects compared to delaying radiation therapy for months or years in order to allow more time for recovery.